Let's call it what it is. We found a new UFO. Yeah, do not, not try this at home. This do is, not try this at home. Is this going to cause the water to turn an alkaline, like a base? Or is it going to cause it to turn acidity, like an acid? Control paper. Oh. And we have oh. our other. It turned red. That's a very it's different. Like, oh my. Okay, and there it is. Ew. Oh. Is that like a worm? I don't know what that is. the water out and I flushed it down and I throw it really good. No. What if you unleash something and now we have stuff that starts swarming out? We told you that this it's had to be handled properly. It's all now this came from Area 51, but it's very similar to our soil. Dude, what if they want it? With your bare hands. <gasps> I forgot! Uh, Dad! Okay, so we've moved to the basement because we're going to set up and organize our board. We're putting it caution. Yes. Um, this is all our evidence board. Basically, anything yeah. that we found in case file, whatever this investigation is, one, yeah. we're naming it file one. It's going on this board. We'll this collect way, the evidence. Yeah, this way we just have everything laid out and nice and easy for us to see. And I really don't want to forget about any of it. So we're just going to put it all up here and maybe it will help us like see other things too. So like, start yeah. taping up what we've, if we've collected. Matched that. Maybe we can connect the dots. <laughs> well, that's what we need to do. We need to connect what piece goes with what piece. And so let's start taping them up, boys. Can you go grab the tape? Yeah. Right there and we'll hang them up. So we first have the piece of evidence that matches ours, right? So we're going to put that as like, so what are some of the properties? And we could even have like strings maybe going down to that evidence. Cause like, we know from this evidence here, that came from the soil. You could even draw a string to some of those properties that we tested, like it's acidic. Okay, so underneath that, we should probably like, we so need the string. properties of the things, so we found it. Yeah. And should we can drag string to each of the things, yeah, or just however. It doesn't matter where. Maybe I think as long as we got connection to it. UV light. Let me get the string. Yeah, as long as the string can go to the things, and then if it connects to anything else, like, was the UV light connected to the funnel cloud? Like, we want to connect what piece went to what, and then if we find any new evidence, does the UV light go to a new piece of evidence? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So then yeah. you draw a string from each piece that you find so, and see if it's the same. I took our evidence sample and I sealed it. I put all this stuff back in here. I, I drained the water out and I flushed it down and I it really good. No, <laughs> it's you know, no so all, all the metal stuff, all else? those, whatever the stuff is here, but the liquid. But what if there was like a little, um, you're going to hatch things stuff, in the water. No, I you dumped it. You, what if you unleashed something and now we have stuff that starts swarming yeah. out? Right? We told you that this had to be handled properly. It's all in okay, here. you know what, guys? Right now, I think that anytime we have to clean up an area, let's leave David out of it. He cannot be responsible of that containment because he's probably going to unleash things upon us and upon you. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I've got it Dude, all in here. It's sure. Uh huh. Okay. I think that we'll take care of it from now on. All right. I hope we don't start having crawly things all over. I swear, if things start emerging from wherever, like, what if that water goes to like people's lawns and then all these things start emerging from people's yeah. lawns? <laughs> David. David. Okay. If crop circles start showing up around here, I will take the blame for it. <laughs> I will go on the TV and I will say, I flushed the little alien things down the toilet. Okay, the board's coming together. We just need to keep placing whatever evidence there is yeah. up there. So we know that like this funnel cloud was from area 51 and we believe that it might have those properties that were alive that was connected to our fragment. Now this came from Area 51, but it's very similar to our soil fragments that we were testing. Yeah. So the stuff that we were testing had these contain these uh, properties. And so we're just trying to make a connection between anything we gather. And so that's what the strings run along is trying to make those connections. Yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna that use up this entire show. wall. <laughs> Probably. So I've been doing some more research. So there's some other things that we can put on here or maybe we put them on as we find stuff out. But one thing I did is I went on and I looked at where are they seeing alien or UFOs and all these dots are where they've seen them this year in just the United States. 
So you can see there's dots all over the map. There's one right there where we were. So I zoomed in on it a little further. I don't know if you can see it here. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't think you can see it any better. But this is, is, this is an interactive map of UFO sightings taken seriously by the US government. So this is from the US government's page where they're, they're admitting that this is actually taking place. A couple things I was thinking, okay, if this is what it is, if this evidence leads to what? What's next? How do we communicate with them? Do you guys want to communicate with aliens? Should we try to figure out how to communicate with them? Because maybe we found a way to grow an alien. I don't know. <laughs> don't know what's going on. So grow safe. your what's own you alien. So, yeah, grow your own alien. I found this article. It's like sea monkeys, but not. This article, Soil sample. if you look up here, it says for official use has been crossed out. This used to be classified material from the US government on how to communicate with extraterrestrial intelligence, aliens. There's a whole like 15 pages. So I'm gonna put maybe one on here so we can just show how it has writings. And I think when we get to the box and start looking at the box, we'll get more into this on how to figure out how to communicate with them. But then I also started thinking, okay, well, are there pictures of aliens? So like, there's like Hollywood's picture, right? But a lot of people describe them with big eyes and a little He's got chin. The creepy hair things like that was on our sample. Yeah. That's gross. That's why yeah. I printed this one off. That's gross. I'm like cuz I've seen like in movies and stuff where they've depicted aliens like yeah. they can climb walls. Well, now that we saw that under the microscope, you can see how they would be able to climb and stick things and do different things. Mm -hmm. But this was taken in Russia of an alien from a UFO crash. Like an alien or a the... This is the actual alien. So you can like, see there's the eye and there's the mouth. Oh this is his head. Huh, like the alien. It, it's deceased. This one is deceased. Okay. But this was like, found it looks at like the it's crash. In snow or like. But if that's the case, it. there's probably aliens among us that are alive. Wow. Around us. So I'm thinking that. This is maybe crazy guys. Yeah. Alive. We put that what up if here. That's what we were seeing the beginnings of. Are they what? alive? Are they here? How can we get them to come see us, right? So there was, a, so no. I, I googled. I don't want how can to see we, us, but I want more evidence. But I know. I, I, yeah. I, I, but I did Google. Nervous. How can we communicate with aliens, and how can we get aliens to come to us? And this is this is from the Munchies website. It says this alien expert says eating vegan food is best to attract sky beings. Maybe we should okay. try it. I don't know. Maybe we should try it. I don't know. Vegan food. And then how can we communicate with them? Lasers. So we need to go buy some lasers and start communicating with yes. aliens. I think this lasers. is another thing we got to do at nighttime. We'll start okay. sending lasers and start well, I mean, you have to be careful of doing lasers in the sky because you can't interfere with government airplanes and right. stuff. I was going to say, you so, don't want um, to accidentally use, the, like, you got to be very, very careful with I lasers. I don't know if so. I like that idea. We're yeah. going to get in trouble. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll I do probably it. not do the lasers. Yeah. I think that you will have a visit from another kind called um, government <laughs> men in black or something will show up and <laughs> last we black. see of David. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Bye, David. <laughs> so our box is sealed. Scary. I'll put this up here as well. Maybe we put it here. We'll put and it, put yeah, the life it has to, it. to go with this um, piece because we're saying that represents our soil. Yeah. It's kind of the similar. I know that came from the area Where'd 51. Where'd that piece go? <gasps> but it's very similar. So maybe I'll put this on top of it. Dude, what if they want it? With your bare hands. <gasps> I uh, forgot. Dad. <laughs> Guys, um, we need help. We can't leave David alone with this stuff. Or yeah. let, uh, no, we can't even let David around this stuff. <laughs> this is like, ah. Okay, we're gonna go take care of this issue. Um, we've got to scrub, make sure David has scrubbed very well, and also finish this board. Yeah. Um, we'll come back another day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.